What's up friends? Today we're talking about SSDs and I'll explain how I came from this old hard drive with fans and power and these cables to these SSDs which are super fast, super portable and awesome. Today we're looking at two SSDs. We have the Samsung T7 and we also have the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. We're gonna test them out and see which one comes up on top. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about the design of the SSDs. So with the SanDisk, you have this very durable, it's an IP55, so if you get it wet, it's not gonna be the end of the world. However, I wouldn't test it. Also, it's, you know, if you drop it, I think it's two meters. Uh, that you can drop it and it should be fine. Again, I wouldn't be testing it unless you wanna see if it'll break. Uh, but here you have the cable for it. I personally don't really like this cable just because when you plug it into your computer, it kinda just sticks out like that. And if you're walking around with it, it is just awkward. Um, so the way this one works is it's got a USB-A adapter but you have your USB-C to USB-C otherwise. And then with the Samsung, you get two cables, not one, two. Uh, and here we have the USB-A to USB-C, and then otherwise you have USB-C to USB-C, depending on what you're rocking. One thing I love about the Samsung is that it's got a little blinky light. So you can see when it's thinking or when it's not thinking. So if it all of a sudden freezes up, you can look at it. I haven't really had any issues with it, but it is always nice to have that. The SanDisk doesn't have it, so one thing to note. And it's just awesome going from this big drive, which requires power, and it has a fan, so it's noisy, and it's just clunky to carry around, and it's not fast. So moving to these new SSDs was a huge improvement. It's impacted my workflow to make it so much easier to start editing files instead of having to set up this big clunking hard drive. And they have the same space, if you can believe that. It's the same amount of space. Both of these are a terabyte. Um, so yeah, would you rather carry around this in your pocket or this? Next, we're going to talk about speed. And honestly, these two performed quite well. There wasn't a huge difference between the two. Uh, in fact, when I did the six gigabyte transfer, you'll see that they performed within maybe two seconds of each other. If that, it was very, very close. Uh, where you'll see a slight difference is the Blackmagic design test. As you'll see, the SanDisk did perform a little bit better, but not by much, maybe 11 megabytes. Uh, per second and that's not like a huge difference. However, if you look at the difference going from the SanDisk or the Samsung to the traditional hard drive, you'll see significant difference because the traditional disk drive, as you notice, it doesn't support as many files for video. If you do video work, then you can tell that it might be worth upgrading to one of the SSDs. Um, the traditional hard drive speeds were significantly lower and then also the um again the file support wasn't there for nearly as many files as these ssds are and while i was doing the speed test on this old drive i managed to make myself a bowl of cereal and it was still transferring that file so honestly you're definitely better off with one of the ssds for the speed if you have to transfer large files because you're talking about an extra two minutes every time you have to transfer six gigabits or you can just enjoy your bowl of cereal so in conclusion both drives perform significantly better than your traditional hard drive so if you're still rocking your traditional hard drive it might be time to consider upgrading especially since you'll be spending about two minutes less when you're transferring about a six gigabyte file. That's pretty significant over a long period of time of transferring large files. Uh, so my personal favorite and the minimalist award would go to the Samsung T7. This drive is just super slick. I love the colors that it comes in. So that is pretty awesome. And then also this cool little blinky light. You're not going to see that on the SanDisk. So if you're looking for a blinky light and pretty cool colors, 
definitely go with the Samsung. If you're looking for the most durable and the best performer, I'd have to give that to the SanDisk. This thing is pretty awesome. You get this cool little loophole which you can attach to your gear, uh, your backpack, whatever you have. Uh, and then also with the IP55 water resistance, that is pretty amazing. And the two meter drop, um, that is pretty sweet as well. So if you're looking for something a little bit more rugged, if you go out and about, maybe rock climbing or something like that, then I definitely recommend the SanDisk. However, if you're just looking for something around the office or just transporting around town, uh, this Samsung is pretty slick. I really love it. I work with both of these on a regular basis and honestly, I love both of them. They're great options. So uh, choose the one that works best for you, but you're not gonna go wrong either way because they both performed great. So if you're interested in picking up any of these drives, check the description below for some affiliate links. And if you have any questions or have anything awesome to say, please drop a comment below. Love to hear from you. And otherwise, just smash that like button, subscribe. Until next time, stay techy. Today we're testing two SSDs. We have the some some thumb some thumb. Okay. Okay, so in conclusion, I yeah. The minimalist favorite favorite favorite.